Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It helps me, helps the channel grow and it costs you nothing. Now please remember this is a general reading and it might not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates for you. Unfinished symphony, number 10. There's something that's going on here. There's something, there's unfinished business here. Between worlds. It may be as if you feel as if you're in limbo here, but it's because you need to deal with something. You need to tie up the loose ends here. You need to look at something in detail and wrap things up here. You will move from the dark into the light. It's just you're in limbo because things need to be addressed. Okay, let's have a look here. Spirit, please show me clearly what this is about. Please show me clearly. Queen of Swords. The world. So you will move on. Yes. And the Six of Pentacles. Now, the reason that you're in limbo and the reason that things aren't moving on is because you're not dealing with issues. There's certain things you're not dealing with that need to be looked at. So things need to be tied up. Now, this here is the Queen of Swords. And she, and it's not a gender specific reading, I'm talking about the energies on the cards here. She's somebody who's a new nonsense energy. She looks at situations from an intellectual perspective. She deals with them. She has strategies. She ties up her loose ends. She clears things up. You can see her hand here. And this is me communicating. She's saying, I'm communicating about what needs to be done. I'm making my decisions here. And this is the path I'm going to go down. And nobody's going to get on the road. And she puts an end to things. She puts an end to things. Nobody gets in her road. Now, this could be the divorced person, most definitely. It could be a divorced person, or it can be somebody being very clear about what it is that they're wanting um, and the path they want to go down. Now, she cuts people in situations out of her life that no longer serves her. So very strategic intellectual decisions being made here so that you're no longer in limbo and so that you can start down, put things to, to an end, put all these things that need to be addressed to an end, and start the brand new chapter in your life. So this Queen of Swords energy is highly important for you here in this reading because she is somebody who makes these decisions that you've been putting off. It looks like it. And that is why you're not moving forward. So there'll be a lot of success with this. You'll successfully end a chapter and you will go forward to a brand new one. And what will happen is you'll come from the limbo state into a more ba well balanced place. Now, this balance is the universe rewards you when you're in the Six of Pentacles energy. And it's about what you put into things you get out. Right. So we want to, the other meaning to this as well, um, is that we don't want to be people bleeding us dry. We might be sitting in situations where we know things aren't right. People are taking advantage of us. Um, you know, we don't want to be un overworked and underpaid. That's a joke in this day and age, but you're getting my drift here. It's about reciprocal energy. We don't want to be putting more in effort into a relationship than we're getting back, more into them we're getting back here. We don't want to be lending money to somebody and not getting it back. It's about balanced energy. Sometimes we have to give things as well to open up the energies so that we can receive. So what we put into things in that sense, we get back. That's that's it as well. So there's quite a lot. You get rewarded for being in this energy and that's what we need, to, the energy we need to be in so that we can go forward. Now we'll just clarify this Queen of Swords energy here. The Four of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Swords. Now this here is somebody who's doing nothing. We might be complaining about our situation or feeling fed up with it, but we're not taking any action. And we're not going to see the blessings that life is giving us because we're just going round in circles. We're getting in our own road here. We're trying to overthink things. It's not about overthinking things. It's about listening to your intuition. And it's about taking action. Definitely. And this could be because we're needing to communicate or get legal advice or professional advice of some sort. But it's about gaining the clarity here, making these decisions, communicating them. This could be an intellectual team. So you and a lawyer, you and a professional person of some sort. But this is somebody who could bring you information, a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy or somebody with that in their chart. But don't overthink it. Get legal advice. Get help. Uh, don't overthink about what you're going to say. Make these decisions and say it. Don't, don't overthink it because this is what's going to move you on from this kind of stalemate energy here that we've got. Now, we'll clarify this Six of Pentacles.
There we go. The judgment card, you see. The two of wands. And the beautiful empress. So there's a judgment needing to be made here. Now, the universe is trying to support you here. The angels are trying to get in touch with you. You need to make these decisions. You need to decide what it is that you're going to, what path you're going to go down here. Now, this just judgment call is going to release you. You're going to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. You're going to go from being in limbo into new chapters. So don't put off any longer what it is that you need to, to do. Now, this judgment as well, it can be deja vu situations. So you could have been going over this and over this and over this. And that's what this mental energy can be. You're going round and round in circles here. Nothing's getting resolved because you're not making the necessary decisions. Um, what I would say to you as well, if it's somebody coming back from your past, use the knowledge you've gained here to uh, make the right judgment call for you. But the universe is calling you to make a judgment call here. It's make your decisions, make your chosen path, take your chosen path. The world's your oyster. He's the young hierophant. He's got the world in his hands. You can achieve anything you want if you put your mind to it. Be growth will be restored from this judgment call, rejuvenation, harmony restored. She's beautiful. She's the empress. She's the most auspicious person in the deck. She creates harmony, well-balanced energies. She's made good decisions for herself. She's got strategies that work for her. She's putting the right effort into people, situations and environments. And she's making good, sensible decisions. And it brings a lot of harmony and rebirth to your life. It could also bring pregnancy for some of you if that's what you're wanting. So decisions needing to be made here, loose ends needing to be tied up, new chapters are there for you if you tie up your loose ends. There's great things could come from it. Hope. Hope. Beautiful card. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change the negative situation into a positive one. We have got to trust and believe that we can move on to new things. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.